Skornakust, Coast, was published in 2016. I'd been photographing along the coastline in southern Sweden and in Denmark for many years. Previously, I'd published a book of panorama images showing parallel latitudes along the Öresund coastline in both Denmark and Sweden. In 2014, I was contacted by Professor Karola Wingram from the Swedish University of Agriculture in Alnarp. She was starting a course on the rising sea level in the world that focused on Skorna. The course was called Harvard Steger, The Sea is Rising. This led me to sit in on the many lectures that were given. There were experts and professors and they came with some shocking information about the rising sea levels and how it was going to affect places around the world but the focus was on score now. I photographed in places I'd previously visited and many new places. Along the coastline there were harbours, industrial areas, recreational areas, deserted beaches, sandy beaches, stony beaches, everything was varying. But one of the things that I came back to was these piles and piles of stones along the beaches, jetties built out into the water, harbours that now, industrial harbours that were hardly used at all. There were also remains from previous ages of conflict, the war blocks, anti-tank blocks sunk down into the sand, pillboxes, a line of defence that once was during the Second and First World Wars, maybe. There was a lot of nature and some very, very beautiful areas. But it was important for me to avoid producing just another tourist book, a tourist brochure. It didn't interest me at all. So some of the images, they have this feeling of decay in them. And that was an important part for me to bring in to the book. The aspect of change and time. Access is possible almost along the whole coastline. There are a few harbour areas that are only open to people who are working there. But otherwise, there is this Swedish right of being able to walk where you want to. The right of every man. There are places of very natural beauty that are visited by tourists every year. And there are other areas where many tourists don't want to go. There are aspects that many people just don't want to see. And other aspects that are important to note. The book's images have been made from Borstad in the northwest of Skorna to Bromolla in the southeast and photographed between 2009 to 2016. Carol Wingren and Thomas Germanson write, There are still no answers as to how to protect what we value. Perhaps the answer lies not so much in trying to find a standard value for what is considered to be geographically static and defined by coordinates, but concentrating on the changeable aspects instead. This requires not only a new approach to the planning of coastal areas, but also our realisation 
that the coast is in fact a changing landscape, sometimes dry, sometimes damp or wet. The interplay between these states varies along the Scorner coast. It is flat and steep, sandy and rocky, soft and hard, bleak and inviting, stormy and calm, populated and desolate, cultivated and wild, exploited and unexploited. When working to create an understanding of the coastal landscape's alternating character and variability in relation to the rising sea level, it's particularly important to remind ourselves of what is about to disappear. This is where photography is an excellent tool. So ends the text in the book.